What's up guys, it's Briller and I'm back for another video. This video is going to be completely in English as you can already tell and this video is also for more advanced speakers. If you're a beginner, I don't really recommend this video to you although it could be helpful maybe just to practice some pronunciation. But guys, I really want to try an exercise that I think could be very helpful for advanced speakers and the exercise is basically that I'm going to leave a sentence in text on the screen I'm going to have you guys pause the video and you can say the sentence maybe two or three times to practice how you think the intonation or like the prosody of the sentence should be and then right after that I'm going to say the sentence in my own way as a native speaker. So this exercise is a good way for you guys to kind of see the difference between a native speaker's pronunciation and kind of someone who's learning English, their pronunciation and their intonation and you can kind of draw a line between the differences and hopefully you can get closer to a native speaker's pronunciation. So the first sentence is going to be this. Notice the emphasis on this word. Um, that's kind of where the emphasis, the stress of the sentence is going to be. Keep that in mind. So go ahead and pause the video, say it two or three times, and then when you unpause the video, I will say it myself. All right, so the way I would say this sentence is, I can't believe he actually did that. Or, I can't believe he actually did that. So notice that I put a lot of stress on the word did, kind of the rest of the sentence flow. Try to repeat it the way I said it. That would be a nice practice one more time. I can't believe he actually did that. Let's go to sentence number two. So for this sentence, you guys should try to say this. Uh, pause the video, think about how I might say it. And notice that this is also a question. So we're gonna have that question intonation at the end. So. Pause the video. This is how I'll say it. All right, so this is how I say this sentence. Were you one of the people who saw the car accident? Were you one of the people who saw the car accident? Were you one of the people who saw the car accident? You guys can kind of tell and you can definitely hear my question intonation and how even from the beginning of the sentence, my question's already starting to try like, were you one of the people who saw this car accident? And it just goes up and up and up and up slowly. That's kind of what we do in English when we make questions. Try to practice it again, try to repeat after me. Once you've done that for a few times, let's go to question number three. So sentence number three is a long one. Uh, you guys can try to say this. Pause the video, say it two or three times, practice, guess how you think I'll say it. Okay, so the way I would say this is, so I didn't want to tell you this, but you're actually not the one who got chosen. Or, so I didn't want to tell you this, but you're actually not the one who got chosen. Try to repeat after me. I hope you kind of can hear my intonation kind of flatter. It's kind of a sad sentence, kind of like letting someone down, disappointing someone. So my intonation is just like, you're not the one who got chosen. Let's try sentence number four. So sentence number four will be this. Do the usual routine, pause the video. Okay, so the way I would say this is, every day I wake up at 8 a.m., go to work, come home, eat dinner, and then do it again the next day. I think it's important to learn kind of how people say lists of things. I definitely notice the way Italians say a list of things, the way they have an intonation on a list. Each thing they say has like a specific intonation. Same thing in English. I'll say it one more time. Every day, I wake up at 8 a.m., go to work, come home, eat dinner, and then do it again the next day. So maybe you can hear my intonation of that type of list. Try to repeat it as always. And let's go to the next sentence. So this time it's just a quick question. The question will be this. Pause the video as always. And this question would sound like, did you have a fun weekend? Or more slowly, did you have a fun weekend? But more naturally, did you have a fun weekend? Notice kind of did you as a question, and this happens very often in English, it becomes just like, ju, you? Did you have a fun weekend? Like J-U almost, like do you have fun? Did you have fun? Did you have fun? Did you have fun? Did you have fun? So when we say did you as a question, usually did you is not like did you. It's kind of just like do you, like very fast, did you. All right, guys, let's go to the last sentence. The last sentence is going to be this. The way I would say this sentence is, oh, don't worry about it. I mean, I didn't really care anyway. One more time. Oh, don't worry about it. I mean, I didn't really care anyway. Oh, don't worry about it. I mean, I didn't really care anyway. So again, try to repeat it, try to say it the same way I did, try to catch on to my speed, my intonation, the way my words flow, and uh, I hope you guys are able to do that. Alright guys, so that's the end of this video. I hope my English was not too 
difficult, not too fast. I hope it was nice and clear as I usually try to make it. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. I hope you keep practicing your intonation, prosody, English, your speed, your pronunciation. Uh, it was a fun time making this video. I enjoyed it. I hope I helped out. Check out my Patreon page. Check out my PayPal page if what I'm doing is helping you. You guys know I put a lot of work into these videos and I appreciate anything I get back. Um, but it was a pleasure. Thank you guys so much. I will catch you next time. Peace.